What's up, Derby Nation? This is Lady Oshun coming to you live from the WFTDA 2011 mm, South Central Regional Playoffs. Um, I'm here with Rockus Ron. Rockus Ron, how are you doing? Oh, I'm super stoked to be here watching my team, Kansas City, take on Gold Coast out of Fort Lauderdale. Indeed, as um, Chip Queso so illustriously um, led us in, this is indeed the ninth seed going up against the first seeded team right now. Um, we're going to tell you very quickly before we get into the action. So playing tonight for the Gold Coast All-Stars, 11-11-11, or 1-1-1, excuse me, Jam Sorella, 1-4-3, Baller, Shot Caller, 17, Jess Business, 21, Blackjack, 3, Shredder, 422, Annihilating Annie, 69er, Pow Pow Panther, 77, Stone Bitch Blues, 88, Lucy Lunatic, 800 degrees Celsius, spontaneous combustion. Number nine, Kitten But Not Submitting. 96, Tackle Me Elmo, 999, Iggy Cox, 900, Pyromanic, and that is your roster for the Gold Star All Gold Coast All Stars for this evening. All right, and for Kansas City All Stars, Kansas City Roller Warriors, we've got slash 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 Annie Mall, 244 Bruise Her, number 26 Bella Fire, 2012 Evolution, 34 Case Closed, number 30 Hall Balls, number four Kelly Young, 44 Damsel of Detention. Number five, Trauma. Number 59, Archie Lee. 69, Track Rat. 816, Jade Lightning. 84, Tough Nuggies. And zero, Eclipse. We're getting ready to start the action down here. Pack lining up. Jammers getting set up. Indeed, everyone is ready to go. Folks at home, when you are watching with us, know that the KC Roller Warriors are in the white jerseys with the red accents and the Gold Coast All-Stars are in the black jerseys with the red and gold accents. Oh my goodness. Bend down, hold on to your seats because it's about to get awesome. Into derby action here going into period one. All right, Kelly Young, lead jammer for Kansas City, busting out the gate, following some great blocks by Bruise Her and Bella Fire, setting up a big screen. Eclipse knocking number 17 out of bounds right there. Kelly Young coming up into the pack again, swinging through, yep. making an easy look of that. That's right, Kelly Young sprung from the pack first, passes that jammer again, calls it off, picks her points up, 29-20 in gameplay. Kansas City with some powerful blockers out there on the track right now. Bruce Her and Eclipse. Indeed, Kansas City is definitely no stranger to awesome derby. Um, and taking Gold Coast to the test, we'll see what shakes out here. Still plenty of time left on the jam clock. Um, right now we have number 77, Stone Bitch Blues, on the line for Gold Coast. Taking on Hall Balls for Kansas City. The co-captain, she angles around to the outside. Both jammers having, the pack. both jammers having cage the pack coming out on that outside. Kansas City pulls lead jam status here. Kansas City doing a really nice job of setting up. Blocks inside, opening up holes. Right now. Thus far. Indeed, Kansas City working with that two ball in the front. Here comes Gold Coast trying to poke some holes in it. Meanwhile, in the back of the pack, making her move on that inside. Casey's jammer, and she's trying to call out the jam here. That's it. That was a four-point pass here, putting nine on the board for Kansas City. Gold Coast still sitting at zero. Kansas City sends out Track Rat to the line right now. Track Rat really making a name for herself in her third year as and, a jammer. And that is 800 degrees Celsius, spontaneous combustion on the line for the Gold Coast All-Stars. And the pack is off and ready to go. Right now holding in the front are the KC Roller Warriors again and the white jerseys, red lettering, followed behind Gold Coast and the black jerseys, red and gold lettering here. 
track rat following her blockers lead jammer for Kansas City Roller Warriors. Kansas City spring in the pack first, pulling that lead jam status. Gold Coast trying to slow it down the middle, holding on to that wall of three. Pushing through on that outside, Kansas City's jammer calling the jam from the floor, and that is it. She curled up in a ball there, did the, the miniature jam call from the floor. We've seen some great derby today. Really enjoy the action here going on at the South Central Regional. Indeed, we've seen some great derby. We've also seen some great bruises. Right now, the jammers are lined up on the Dr. Hauschka jam line. Dr. Hauschka, thank you for supporting roller derby, celebrating the fresh faces of WFTDA. Stop by their booth if you're here with us. But if you're not, check them out online, Dr. Hauschka. Kelly Young again, jamming for Kansas City. But punching through the pack for Gold Coast. That's right. So the first time in this bout, Gold Coast comes through with lead jam status. Right now trying to control the back of that pack. Trapping that KC pivot. Setting a trap for her, and the jam is called. Early in this bout, we've got 12 to one for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Case closed, taking her first time at the jammer line. And number 96, Tackle Me Elma, wearing the jam star for Gold Coast. Both jammers have now engaged the pack here. Looks like KC may take this first again. Kansas City Roller Warriors pick up lead jam status. Case closed. Definitely making a name for herself last year at the championships. Had a long streak of lead jammer calls. Right now she's battling in the pack. That's right. Bruiser right now holding down the front of the pack along with Casey's other blocker trying to do some great bridge work to keep that pack together. Don't want to get that 20-foot call here. Gold Coast trying to make a move to move to the front of the pack to get control, holding down that speed. Case closed, picking up four, calls the jam. Adding to Kansas City's lead. All right, number 900, Pyromantic wearing the jam star for Gold Coast All-Stars. Track rat right out there for Kansas City. All right, nobody in the penalty box right now. It's a full five on five. Everybody locked and loaded out there. Throwing blows early. Right now, Kansas City holding down the front of the line. Coming on that outside, Kansas City picks up lead jam. Kansas City blockers do a really good job of setting up inside blocks, creating that outside lane. Track rat right follows it through. There she goes again through the pack, picking up five points once again. All right, right now Gold Coast is working on a two wall in the front, trying to get some help up there in the front of the pack. Evolution putting some big hits on one of the Gold Coast blockers, knocks her down twice in a row from a standstill. That's right, with a nice bob and weave, Track Rat picks up all five on that last pass. Track Rat sneaking around the outside. Picks uh, up another five-point Grand Slam. Another five points. Meanwhile, Pyromantic is still trapped in the back of the pack. KC just drilling on her, keeping her recycled into the back of the pack. Still working on a pass here. Evolution putting her on her butt for about the fourth time in a row. Indeed, running into a strong wall of four Kansas City Roller Warrior players in the back. Again, wearing the white jerseys with the red lettering. Keeping that jammer unable to make her first initial pass here. Yeah, this is a ferocious wall that Kansas City has put together out there. They got a trauma, eclipse, bruise her, evolution. A group you would not want to see in a dark alley. And they're putting some bruises 
on the jammer for Gold Coast right now. She's going to need some Dr. Hauschka. That's right. She is going to need a lot of Dr. Hauschka. Meanwhile, Track Rat coming in to make that same pass on that outside line and is denied this time by Gold Coast blockers. Pushing her to the back. She calls off the jam. It looks like two more points up on that last one for Kansas City. No points on the board for Gold Coast. Right now, Kansas City 42, Gold Coast 1. 22 minutes remaining in this first period. Indeed, another shout out to some of our sponsors. Thank you, Elemental Technologies, the world's most powerful video processing solutions. Elemental Technologies, thank you for supporting Flag Track Roller Derby and the 2011 South Central Regional Playoffs. All right, both jammers engage the pack here. Gold Coast starting to work on that inside line pass, and it's denied by Kansas City. Still working on the pass inside that pack. Coming on that outside, Kansas City Roller Warriors pick up a lead jam once again. That's Jade Lightning flying around the track. Jade Lightning, a veteran of the 2007 national champion, WFTDA Roller Warriors. All right. Kansas City again, recycled in the back of the pack, working on a pass, speeds up, finding that inside, gets another pass, picks up all five here, Ron. Yeah, Jade Lightning has seen a lot of five-point passes in her career. It looks like she's going to have some more. Running smack into that strong three wall of Gold Coast up in the front. Oh, she's getting the back block sent to the pack into the penalty box, Jade Lightning. All right, two jammers in the box, so that means one has to be sprung. Here comes a 1-1-1 one, one, one. Jam Sterella from the Gold Coast All-Stars getting sprung from the penalty box, all finished with her derby vacation. Kansas City with a four wall out front. Jammer for Gold Coast coming up, but no pack. Right now they got to let her go. Nope, back into the pack. Great bridge work in the middle of the pack by number 244, Bruiser for Kansas City, making that pack stay together. Nice work. Nice spin move. Oh my goodness. Gold Coast making a move here. Jam Sterilla able to get by Bruise Her. No small challenge. That was a hard fought pass there, keeping her locked up for almost the entire jam. Three wall in the front from KC. I hear some whistles. That means this jam is over. 1940 left in gameplay. 54, Kansas City. Two on the board for Gold Coast. Ron, what are you seeing out there so far? Well, Kansas City with very powerful blockers. Really ganging up on these blockers for Gold Coast right now. Gold Coast has to come up with some, some strategy to try and neutralize some of these powerful blockers. Speaking of powerful, if you want to skate better, check out Adam Wheels. Adam Wheels is the official, the official wheel of the WFTDA. Adam Wheels, check him out. That's what I'm skating on, those Adam Strokers. Back to the action here. Kelly Young weaving through the pack. Going to pick up lead jammer, Kansas City. Lead jam, Kansas City. Meanwhile, Gold Coast is trying to make a move into the front of the pack here, having a hard time getting past those two blockers in the front from Kansas City. Yeah, Stone Cold Blues, the jammer for Gold Coast. Having the Blues right now, but one more to pass, but it's Bella Fire. That's, that's not easy to do. Bella Fire, really this season, sitting out in front of the pack, doing a great job of holding everyone back. Kelly Young passing off the jammer, Big Stone jam Cold Blues. Big jammer take out in the front of the pack, recycling number 77, Gold Coast jammer, Stone Bitch Blues to the back of the pack. Tough Noogie's taking a trip to the penalty box there, along with the aforementioned Bella Fire. Stone Bitch Bruce from finally springing through the pack here is released. Lean pack personnel disadvantage on both sides to the penalty box. Gold Coast making a move here, holding three wall in the front. Yeah, this is the kind of opportunity they're looking for. They got the advantage in numbers right now coming into this next jam with Kansas City with two in the penalty box. See if they can take advantage of it. Speaking of take advantage, definitely you want to take advantage of Rydell Skates. They've got these fantastic new boots that are designed specifically for the female skater with a thinner profile. 
Love those Rydell skates. And you know what else is fantastic, Ron? Is a high definition upgrade. Folks, if you're watching us at home, check it out in high def. It's crystal clear. You'll feel the wind from the skates on your face. It's just like being here. Meanwhile, back to the action on the track. Number 88, Lucy Lunatic wearing the Jam Star for Gold Coast. And Hall Balls for Kansas City. Right now, Hall Balls is being held back by that three wall up front for Gold Coast, taking another shot at it. Right now, Gold Coast trying to control the front of that pack with that three. Here comes Kansas City, too strong, springing Gold Coast through. They get lead jam here. Meanwhile, Bow Jammers are through on their initial pack pass. That means they're eligible to score. Coming up into the back of the pack, trying to clip on that inside. Number 88 calls it off, Lucy Lunatic. That's the end of this jam. Good work there by Lucy Lunatic on that jam. All right, folks, if you are just joining us, Izzy Cox from Izzy Cox from Gold Coast All-Stars is wearing the Jam Star. Again, Gold Coast is in the black jerseys with the gold and red accents, and Kansas City is in the white jersey with the red accents. And who's on the line for KC, Ron? Case closed right now, number 34. Awesome sauce. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, what was that? That was amazing derby. Folks, that's why you can't miss a thing. That was, oh. <laughs> Eclipse Zero. with some booty blocking going on over there. Some booby blocking maybe. And now we know why we call her Eclipse. All right, both jammers are sprung and ready to go. Have engaged the pack here, working on their pass. Ah, Gold Coast gets it first. Lead jam status, Gold Coast All-Stars. Yeah, Case Close gets taken down on the outside. Kansas City trying to make a move here to the front of the pack. Eclipse and company holding it down. Big takeout in the back of that pack, sending Casey's pivot flying into the cheap seats. Both pivots out, getting back into the action here. Yeah, Trauma taking the trip to the penalty box over here for Kansas City. Kansas City seeming to be having some penalty problems of late. Evolution sprung from the penalty box, now rejoining the pack. Two wall in the front of the pack. Meanwhile, Evolution laying hits on that Gold Coast jammer, calling off the jam. That's it. 14-44 left in gameplay. Yeah, Eclipse is playing very aggressively out there. Seeing her with very powerful hits. Yep, I remember when she came to play in Boston this year. Yeah, you want to pick up that high quality feed. Make sure you catch it in high quality. I was watching the uh, Westerns last week. Fantastic. The Roller Warriors had an, a watch party, and the high quality feed is worth the money. That's right, all of the tournaments so far have been excellent, but getting back into the action here on the track, we have number 77, Stone Bitch Blues, wearing the Jam Star for Gold Coast. Track rut, we're in the star for Kansas City. It is not gonna be lead jammer. That, oh, that means that she picked up a blocking out of bounds. That means that um, the lead jam status is still up for grabs here. Ah, no, we're, it's not. We're gonna go the full two minute jam here. The, ref, the referee's trying to indicate where the pack actually is. A lot of moving bodies around. Not sure about the pack definition. Meanwhile, Kansas City is, is establishing that front two wall again. Here comes Gold Coast Jammer right in the back of them. Ron? Track Rat with the no pass, no penalty. It picks up three on that one. Track Rat coming goes. up on that inside. Picks up four points for Gold Coast All-Stars. Track rat with four for Kansas City. Gold Coast matching. All right, three wall held strong by the KC Roller Warriors. And following closely behind them are the blockers for Gold Coast. Big jammer takeout in the back of the pack on the part of Gold Coast, pushing all the way back, making her work to the very back of the pack, recycling her here. 
And again, wearing that jam star is number 69, Track Rat, for the KC Roller Warriors. And Stone Cold Blues for Gold Coast All-Stars. All right, Stone Bitch Blues trying to come up on that inside line, gets denied, called off the jam. Two points and one point on that last pass for Kansas City Roller Warriors. 12 6 left in gameplay, 71 Kansas City, 16 Gold Coast. Have you been smacked by rollergirlskates.com yet? Nope. I haven't, but I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Always like getting smacked by Roller Girls, but Roller Girl Skates. Dot com is the best place to get smacked. Jade Lightning for Kansas City. Entering the pack. All right, three wall in the front of the pack. Kansas City Roly Wars holding strong there, making that Gold Coast Jammer still work on her pass. Meanwhile, on that inside, flying like a hot knife through butter, Kansas City picks up lead jam here. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a little bit of derby roadkill on the track. Yeah, Annie Mall is known for that, Lady O. <laughs> <laughs> Annie Mall, also a veteran of the 2007 champion Kansas City Roller Warriors. I was there. It was quite the event. <laughs> All right. Spontaneous combustion. Oh, I hear a lot of whistles. That's the end of the jam. But there goes Annie Mall to the penalty box. A lot of work being left out there on that track. Coming up on the jam line for Gold Coast is number 96, Tackle Me Elmo, wearing the jam star. I just love that name. What a cool name, Tackle Me Elmo. And for Kansas City, Kelly Young. Derby names are indeed kind of awesome, but Derby play is even better. That whistle means we're underway. Personnel disadvantage to the penalty box on both sides. Actually, no, excuse me. Penalty box disadvantage, Kansas City right now. Bo Jammers have engaged the pack, but it looks like Gold Coast picks up lead jam and jam number 13. Tackle me Elmo tickling her way through the pack. Got that lead jammer call, but here comes Kelly Young. Eclipse pushing tackle me Elmo to the outside. She's gonna call the jam before Kelly Young can come up and score any points. Oh no, oh, she did not. It looks not. like we're still underway right now. Gold Coast is holding that two wall strong. Here comes the pivot from Gold Coast All-Stars. Yeah, Tackle Me Elmo had a, a cut track there. Was unable to call the jam. Kelly Young slipping and sliding all over the backs of those two blockers in the front of the pack. They had to let her go. Five finger special, Kansas City Roller Warriors. Kelly Young has had a lot of those in her career. All right, skating past her blockers, that three wall in the back, making quick work of the only blocker out there from Gold Coast. Five more up on the board goes to Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City ganging up on him in the pack right now with a clear number advantage. Allowing yep. Kelly Young to swing through for five more. The pack is hardly moving, maybe 10 foot in the last couple of passes. Kansas City trying to completely take out that fire here. Another scoring pass for the Kansas City All-Stars. Five more points up on the board. Kelly Young with a monster jam right now. Working her way through here. Known for not going down in the pack, does right there, but quickly back up. Always willing to take a lot of hits as she's weaving her way through. Not afraid of contact, Kelly Young. And you got to know, if you're going to wear that jam star, you can't be afraid of a lot of contact. Mm -mm. She seems to seek it out sometimes. She'll just head into that pack and say, you want to you hit with me? Let's That's, go. <laughs> you want to hit me? Come on. Kind of like mm -hmm. Roethlisberger. Meanwhile, back right. to Derby. <laughs> <laughs> she gets knocked down, but she gets back up again. I tell you. Meanwhile, back on the Dr. Hauschka jam line, number nine, wearing the star for the Gold Coast All-Stars, kitten not submitting. And hall balls for Kansas City. No pack situation starting off. 
Send Paul Balls is going to play a little defense. Sending those jammers out straight away quickly. Kansas City's jammer tries to make quick work of that inside line. Gold Coast is too far out and at the front. They got to let her go. They don't want to pick up that 20 feet. Lead jam, Kansas City. Hall balls, hauling balls around the track right now, heading into the pack again. What a movement in the middle of the pack. Gold Coast trying to make a move here to the front of the pack and hold that Kansas City jammer back. No dice. One more scoring pass. She picks up all five here for Kansas City. A lot of five-point grand slams going on for Kansas City right now. Kansas City's defense doing a great job of holding back Indeed. the jammers. But right now, the jammer for Gold Coast is in the penalty box. That's right, Kansas City now finding themselves in a power jam situation. Exactly what Gold Coast does not want to see happen here. Meanwhile, capitalizing on that situation, picking up another five points. Kansas City's jammer working on another scoring pass here. Again, folks at home, if you're just now tuning in, Kansas City Roller Warriors All-Stars are in the white jerseys with the red lettering. Gold Coast in the black jerseys with the red and gold accents. Eclipse doing some damage in the front of the pack, trying to sandwich her Hall balls in the front, but she squeaks through five more points on the board for Kansas City. Kansas City stopping the pack there, holding a the baby. Hold Kelly Young, no Hall balls through there again, another five points. Kansas City Roller Warriors. Hall balls loving that outside line. Eating up the lead jam status so far in this bout. Five minutes and 40 seconds left in gameplay. Kansas City 125, Gold Coast still sitting at 17. You know I'm seeing a whole lot more antique boots out there on the track. I know. Really, really becoming very popular. The antique boots, reckless wheels, and moto bearings revolutionizing roller derby. All from Green Monster Roller Sport. Shout out to Quadzilla and the crew who is here in house. But if you can't check them out here, you can always get them online. They got fabulous, fabulous things for us. I think we're in the middle of a timeout. Official timeout on yeah. the floor. Official timeout on the floor. So we're going to take some time to thank our sponsors um, and tell you about the great things that they do. In addition to Green Mo Monster Roller Sports, Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates is the industry's pioneer in boot sizing and configuration for women's feet. Okay, so check out Fast Girl Skates. They're doing amazing things. They're here in-house. But again, if you can't check them out here, you can check them out online. I love Fast Girl Skates. Really great people. They really know how to how to set you up with the right set of skates. Indeed. It's all about, it's all about supporting Derby Nation. Um, as my friend Dump Truck says, if we're not gonna do it, who's gonna do it for us? So folks who um, are hearing the sponsors that we're reading, thank you for supporting them because they support us. Awesome folks like Derby for All. Thank you Derby for All. Experienced Derby skaters getting you the right gear to take you to the next level. Because even if you're a good skater, it's all about having the right gear for what you have to do. Now, fans need gear, too. No gear like the gear you get from Merch Mama, supplying swag to the Derby Nation. Merch Mama, I know a lot of leagues out there. I announce for several different leagues, local here in Missouri, Kansas, and they use Merch Mama for their swag. You their fans kinda, love it. You just kind of do it all, huh, Ron? Oh, you know, men's derby, women's derby, a little bit here and there. But this is my first... Uh, stream call actually and it's an honor to be doing it with you a veteran of the stream call right uh, well I mean I guess you could call it that but I would like to call myself a lover of derby above all else but getting back into the action here on the track the ladies are ready to line up we have 800 degrees Celsius spontaneous combustion where the jam star for Gold Coast All-Stars and case closed for Kansas City right now mired in the pack and busted through case closed, even though she does not come through first. Will be lead jammer. And back block for the jammer from Gold Coast sets her to the penalty box. Jamming unopposed, case closed, coming up on the pack again. Again, this is the second power jam situation that Kansas City has been in. Again, something that Gold Coast does not want to see because Kansas City has no problem on capitalizing on this situation, picking up all five points here on this pass. Kansas City set, setting up a screen wall here. Then Annie Mall out front. 
with some great blocking. Annie Mall always with beautiful blocking, creates a hole for Case Close. She pops through it, picking up five more. Kansas City with 135 right now to 17 for Gold Coast, and they're going to add to that right now. Right now, packed is advantage both sides. Um, a block, we have a blocker coming back in for Gold Coast. That's number 88, Lucy Lunatic, joining the pack here. Meanwhile, the, the jammer for Gold Coast is still in the pack. Kansas City working on a power jam situation, coming into that three wall of Gold Coast in the front. She springs out, gets all five again. Well, Gold Coast is down right now, but you got to give it up for these girls. They're really fighting out there. Kansas City has a lot more experience, and Gold Coast is in here in their first tournament, and they're battling it out on the track, giving it all they've got. No give up out there. Because it's all about it's all about the sport of derby. If, if, if you are, are a fan and a follower, you'll see the game increase in skill and strategy every year, and it's great to see folks like Gold Coast make the tournament um, their first time ever, 2011 yeah. South Central Regional Playoffs. Absolutely, and you see them battling out there, and you got to love these people. you got to have the derby love for these teams that come out and battle it against more experienced teams in a tournament like this. Wow, Gold oh, Coast. Oh, my goodness. Only six months in WFTDA, and Gold Coast is here. That's something to be said. That's something to be said for this team. They're putting up a hard fight here. Meanwhile, getting back into the action, both jammers engaged in the pack here, working on their initial pass. You know, they've got six months in Kansas City. I see several skaters out there with six years. And there goes Track Rat, veteran Kansas City jammer, lead jammer once again. That's right. Gold Coast still speed right now, trying to control the speed of this pack, trying to make a move to the front here. But there goes the whistles. Two more points on the board for Kansas City, none on the board for Gold Coast. That's the end of this jam. Folks, I hope you're having as good a time as we are right here bringing you this derby action from the historical municipal auditorium in the heart of Kansas City, Missouri, my hometown. Much love for Kansas and the sport of derby. Yeah, I'm from Kansas. I was born here. I live in Boston now. Big shout out to the Boston Derby Dames. Love y'all. Oh, back yeah. to the action on the track. Bo Jammers engaged in the back, slamming right here. Jade Lightning fighting up there in front. Looks like we've got a no-pack situation. They've got to let her go. Lead jammer, Jade Lightning. Meanwhile, Gold, Co Gold Coast jammer still working in the back here on her initial pass. Denied one more time by the Kansas City blockers. Oh, yeah. Having a hard time getting by Evolution and bruise her. Eclipse right there. Now she makes a move to the front of the pack. Now she's got to take on Bella Fire. Evolution taking a trip over there into the fan seats. That's right. Nice bridge work by Evolution in the middle of the pack. Clear. You know, Evolution's out there. She just hits and hits and hits. It almost doesn't seem like it matters where the jammer is. She just, she's out there to hit somebody. She's, skating with a vengeance all the time. She is indeed a human battering ram, which is lovely to see in Derby. This jam is over. One yeah. minute and some change left in gameplay. That's how Eclipse tells you that she thinks she's awesome is booty slaps. Other, other things that are awesome are DVDs of these bouts. So we've seen all of these amazing bouts all day. This is the last one of the day. Folks, if you are a student or a fan of Derby, make sure you order these DVDs so you can see awesome gameplay. Speaking of awesome gameplay, getting back into the action here, our jammers have both engaged the pack on this next pass. But it looks like that Kansas City is going to once again pick up lead jam status. Kelly Young wearing the jam star. And we've got Stone Bitch Blues out there. She's still battling, but she gets through the pack. Finally through, that means Stone Bitch Blues is eligible to score now. But Kelly Young's going to call the jam off. Smart move before they can mm -hmm. even have a chance to sniff points in the back of that pack for the Gold Coast All-Stars. Kansas All right, City folks. with a lot of strategy there. We've got halftime. We're going to have to kick it off over here. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing you back into the action here, this is Lady Oshun coming to you again from the 2011 WFTDA 
South Central Regional Playoffs. Show me Derby Q. We only have mere seconds to get back into this bout here. If you don't know what you are watching, you are watching a whole lot of awesome. In addition to that, you are watching Kansas City. The Kansas City All-Stars take on the Gold Coast All-Stars. Kansas City right now, 164 to 17 put up by Gold Coast. We're putting a fresh 30 minutes back on the period clock. That means we're ready to get back into the derby action here. Ruckus Ron, we've had some amazing tournaments so far. I was able to experience the first one, the Eastern Regional Tournament in my own region um, with my team, the Boston Derby Dames. This is my second tournament, but oh. Westerns were amazing. Um, this mm -hmm. is the third. We still have North Centrals to go. Oh, I was checking them all out from home on that high quality feed from WFTDA.com. It's back under action here. Oh, fresh into the first jam for the second half. Gold Coast picks up lead jam. Stone Bitch Blues. Stone Bitch Blues. We'll see her on the jam line a lot tonight on the Dr. Hauschka jam line. Meanwhile, Kansas City holding on to that three wall in the front of the pack, losing one blocker to the penalty box mm -hmm. here. And that is a yeah, Stone Bitch Blues calls that jam because Hall Balls is right on her tail. Holland Balls right up on her. And that's evolution in the penalty box for Kansas City, as well as Damsel of Detention. Again, if you are just joining us, Kansas City is in the white jerseys with the red lettering, and Gold Coast is in the black jerseys with the red and gold accents on their jerseys. Kansas City with just two blockers in the pack right now. Case closed on the line to jam. Moderate start to this pack here. Four in the front, Gold Coast holding it down. Three wall, two wall, excuse me, in the back by Kansas City. Trapping that Gold Coast jammer. No pack is called, but the pack is here. Case closed, sliding through. Two of the blockers from Gold Coast picks up lead jam for Kansas City. That's right, Ron. Right now, the ladies from Kansas City have that two wall working. Coming up fast behind them are the ladies from Gold Coast. Big jammer takeout on the part of Kansas City, recycling that Gold Coast jammer to the back of the pack. Case closed in there, mired in Gold Coast. She's got a four wall in front of her. Looks like she needs a little help from her blockers. Lucy. She's, she's blocking for herself out there. She is blocking for herself right now. Lucy Lunatic, again, recycled into the back of the pack. Jamming for Gold Coast, still working on her initial pass here. Kansas City really good at that, pushing them to the outside, getting them to cycle back through to the back. You know, going through four of these blockers for Kansas City is a challenge for any team. Any, any mere mortal. Any mere that. mortal. Even, <laughs> even the best teams have a tough time with it. I've traveled with Kansas City when they took on uh, Ole, Rat City, Jet City this year, and Kansas City is ferocious against the top teams. That's right, ferocious with calling off that jam, picking up four points. Kansas City shuts it down, setting up for the next one. 137 Kansas City, 17 Gold Coast. Again, there was speculation that this score would indeed look like this between Kansas City and Gold Coast, but again, Gold Coast is not going softly. They, they pull, they're they they trying to pull out all the stops. You can see them working hard in this gameplay as we get into jam number three of the second period. 26-47 left in gameplay. Jade Lightning in there for Kansas City coming up on the back of the pack. Gold Coast jammer goes down. Widespread pack here. We're all spread out. Looks like they are still calling it a pack. That's right, Bow Jammers engaged in the pack here, working on their first pass. Gold Coast pulls it out first and gets lead jam. That means she is now eligible to score, coming up on the back of that pack pretty fast now. Kansas That's City's jammer still stuck in the pack, Ron. That's annihilating Annie. Annihilating Annie, taking, taken out and recycled into the back of the pack here, still working on her pass. Gold Coast calls off the jam, two points up for Gold Coast. 
holding Kansas City to zero. They are happy. Yeah, Gold Coast <laughs> celebrating that, that small victory right here, but that's what you got to do. You got to go out there and you got to play it jam by jam. You got to make sure that you celebrate the victories that you pick up against a team like Kansas City scoring two points is tough. That's right. And at the end of at the end of the day we said six months in WFTDA, Gold Coast's first time in playoffs. This is huge for them. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale, you should be proud of your team right now. Do not be ashamed of the score, which by the way is one seventy three, Kansas City, nineteen, Fort Lauderdale. Meanwhile, you hear the screams from the fans in Florida. Two wall in the front of the pack held down by Kansas City All Stars. D Oh. Oh, track Pit. rather signaling guys. You had a cut track there, so. Big Dimmer take out. Just business having none of that. Uh, I guess she cycled back in and came back in front of the Bacher that knocked her out, so not a cut track. She got lead jam call there. Stone Bitch Blues finally getting sprung from the pack. But track rat looking to pick up points here. Gets hit hard in the middle of the pack. Casey calls, calls it. it. Track rat has eyes in the back of her head. You know, she sees the opposing <laughs> jammer coming up. You have to see everything. You have to see everything. Absolutely. That, yeah. is, that is the experience of a veteran right there. So oftentimes I like to liken roller derby to football. So I know people will complain. They'll say it's not the same as football, but there are many things that are similar. If you're a player, i.e. a blocker, whoever, you have to constantly have your head on swivel to see who is coming up behind you and on your side. So we see Kansas City taking the knee. In the back of the pack, this is Eclipse and number 244 Bruiser from Kansas City. Case closed. The jammer for Kansas City weaving through about half the pack right now. One more to pass and does it oh, as man. Bella Fire sets up that block in the front. Wow. Nicely done. Case closed virtually came through that pack untouched. Now both jammers have cleared the pack. Both are eligible to score. Case closed hits the pack first for Kansas City. Trying to work her way around those bodies here. Big jammer take out on the front of the pack. Mm -hmm. Jam Sterella, Gold Coast denying that pass, and forcing Coast, the call. Case Coast calling that jam upside down. Her feet were in the <laughs> air when she started calling that jam. I haven't, haven't seen that one yet. Sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to call it from the floor or when your feet are in the air. Kansas City sending in damsel of detention and tough noogies in to block. Along with Trauma and Evolution. And number five, Trauma wearing the pivot stripe for Kansas City. Trauma, a recent acquisition from uh, Cincinnati. Nice. And we have Izzy, Iggy Cox, 999, wearing the Jam Star for Gold Coast All Stars. Big cluster right there, but busting through its Gold Coast. Lead jam. Gold Coast first through. Trauma was trying to chase her down, but had to let her go. Didn't want to pull that 20 foot out of play pack call. Four strong in the front held down by Kansas City. Iggy Cox looking to pick up points here as she enters the pack. Jade Lightning coming up fast though. She might want to call this jam after picking up one and she does. Smart no. shot. Oh. Gave her none on the floor. No point. Gold Coast is not happy about that. They want their one point, and they want it now. They believe that they have won. So nonetheless, we'll see what happens here. The ladies are about to set up for the next jam. 21-48 in gameplay. 179, Kansas City, Gold Coast at 22. You know, we got a lot of uh, superstars of roller derby on the track right now, like Kelly Young. There's some other superstars that like five stride skate shop. The preferred skate shop of Bonnie Thunders, Deranged, Psychobabble, Susie Hot Rod, and Teflon Donna. Those are some superstar names, and they like Five Stride Skate Shop. And super they have some superstar stuff at Five Stride. Speaking of superstars, both jammers are here working hard, getting bumped around like pinballs, working on an initial pass. Kansas City pulls through, lead jam. Kelly Young, and she is a superstar here. Kelly Young was a superhero at the 2007 championships as Snot Rocket. Yes, she was, Rockers Ron. 
these ladies are both out here taking taking each other to task right now Kansas City is trying to make a move to the front of that pack Eclipse trying to come up and help that mm -hmm. that pivot yeah trauma Eclipse just repeatedly hitting the uh, jammer for Gold Coast knocking her out of bounds and here they go again Great pack play and positional blocking right now by Kansas City in the front of that pack. Not letting anything pass them. Trying to make some holes for their jammer to get through and continue on this tirade of point scoring that they have been on. Five more added to that list. Wow, bumping it up to 189 Kansas City to 22 Gold Coast. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. A little tumble out there. Um, in the back of the pack, Eclipse. Going down with uh, Annie Mall. Meanwhile, back into the action in the front of the pack, the jam is called off by Kelly Young. She's having no more of this jam. Four points on the board for Kansas City. Kelly Young with some monster jams in this action here. If you could be here with us, you would feel the electricity from, again, the historic Municipal Auditorium in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, home of the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Oh my, oh my, it's good to be back home for some roller derby. Oh yeah, welcome back <laughs> home, Lady O. Yay. Wonderful to have you here. We love Municipal Auditorium. This is where the Casey Bombers played back in the day. So oh, historic, yeah. historic so if venue you, for roller derby here in Kansas City. Historic venue for roller derby. If you didn't know your derby history, some folks only know about the current revolution. It goes way back, check it out online. Meanwhile, we're checking out the action on the track. Both of your jammers have engaged the pack, working on their pass. Fast moving pack here. Oh, and Gold Coast is working, trying to inch through. Jammer take out on the side. Gold Coast recycled to the back. Uh, Gold Coast setting up some good blocks out there. Spring in their, Spring in their jammer. jammer, but she's not lead jammer. That's right, Ron. She picked up a track cut on that last pass. It was up for grabs. Lead jam. KC picked it up and called it off. Yeah, case closed. Picking it up. Shutting it down immediately. Shut the door. There is no more. 18-27 left in gameplay here. The best customer service in the business, period, in roller derby is Derby Supply. I heard this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Derby Supply and customer service go hand in hand. Derby supply, customer service, amazing things, and number 111, Jamsterella and Jamstars go together awesomely as well. Jamming for Gold Coast. And Jade Lightning for Kansas City. She battles to the front, punches through that two wall with a little help from Bella Fire, and there goes Jade Lightning. She's already around the track before I could tell you what she did. Back into the pack, point, <laughs> point, point. There goes oh. Jade Lightning on a point run. That was Ugh. fantastic. That's what happens when you've got blockers like Eclipse in the pack. Oh my gosh, I heard that smack from here hmm. from the cheap seats. And once again, rocketing through there. Jade Lightning on fire right now. Lighting it up, five points, five points, five points. We are over 200 points for Kansas City to 22 for Gold Coast. Here she comes again, hitting the back of the pack. Jade Lightning trying to get another scoring pass here. Mm -hmm. Denied on that inside line, so she's gonna try something else. Hiding behind Eclipse, trying to piggyback off of her. Comes up behind two blockers from Gold Coast. And there's Evolution. Hits two of the blockers and knocks them out of the way for her. But Jade Lightning knocked down once again. Evolution cleaning house in the middle of the pack, making holes for everybody. She is cleaning house, back and forth across the track, just knocking people down, pinballing back and forth, opening up holes. Jade Lightning through again, five point grand slam. I think I've said five point grand slam. Chasing the unicorn. A lot of times tonight. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Jamsterella in the box. Gold Coast Jammer is in the box again right now, leaving Kansas City open on a huge unopposed power jam run. Five more points on the board for the KC All-Stars. Wow, there's your veteran Jade Lightning. World champion Jade Lightning, WFTDA superstar, weaving through the pack. 
Score, score, score. That was a huge jam for Jade Lightning. You got to love that if you're a Kansas City fan. Or a fan of Derby in general. I know. She's definitely um, exasperated. That was a huge jam. Speaking of things that are huge and things that are amazing, check out Derba Life. Derba Life has customized nutrition programs. Customized. I love Derba Life. I, I love it. You I love Derba Life? Programs. I have some right here. I got their power pack. Oh, it's oh, so that. good. Actually, Drink it every morning. It's what powers me to do derby. Back to the action on the floor, though, because we've got Hall Balls cutting through the front of the pack. She's got two more to pass. We're doing a good job of blocking her right now, but they've got to let her go as it's a no-pack situation. Doing a great job of blocking. Gold Coast getting back into sucking into that pack, reestablishing that three wall in the front right now. Ooh. Nice job knocking her out of bounds right there by the Gold Coast blocker. Pushing her to the outside. And that is number 30 again, Hall Balls. Hall Balls who gets hit hard. Goes down on her booty. Spontaneous combustion with that big hit. That's right. Hall Balls getting thrown around. Trying to come on that outside line. Getting through that pack. There She's she finally goes. sprung and she picks up all five. She got that five. Shut it down. <laughs> she got that five, and then she shut that store down and went home. <laughs> 223 Kansas City, Gold Coast 22, 14 22 left in play. Oh, and the fans are going crazy because, un because unlike golf and unlike tennis, mm -hmm. Derby fans like to make noise. I know you're making noise at home or wherever you're currently watching this, whether it's on your phone or in a nice cozy bar somewhere. Thank you for turning it, tuning in to www.wftda.com, folks. I love these Gold Coast fans. They're out there in the stands going crazy. I see Justin Queso waving the butterfly flag. The fans are screaming. Like, they don't even see the scoreboard. That's Derby love. That's Derby love because it's all for the love of the game. Speaking of the love of the game, Kansas City loves to get lead jam status tonight. And, and they got it again. And they got it again. That's Track Rat. And she's already around looking for more points. Weaving, bobbing and weaving. Track Rat gets really low as she goes through the pack. Oh. One of the things we love about her, she can just kind of sneak through there and dive almost underneath the legs of the blockers. Trauma putting the squeeze to that gold close jammer. She was recycling her to the back of the pack. Big takeout in the front of the pack. Yeah, we're really happy to have Trauma there. A great addition to the team. Meanwhile, number 999, Iggy Cox, finally sprung from the pack and is eligible to score. Four points up on the board for Kansas City and another scoring pass. It looks like Track Rat, who is the lead jammer, is going to try and catch her rather than shut down the jam says, you know what, let's play. Right now, Evolution fun. Right now, Evolution's being taken to task by a three wall for mm -hmm. Gold Coast. She breaks through in the last seconds and the jam is called. Yeah, Track Rat does shut it down after tossing a little bit out there with Iggy Cox. Let's tell you about another of our great sponsors, Roller Girl Skates. They are at rollergirlskates.com. Great people, I love Roller Girl Skates. That's the place to get your skates, folks. Look them up at rollergirlskates.com. I did. Got some, <laughs> got some skates for my daughters there, actually. So many amazing businesses with amazing products. Getting back into the action here on the track. Bo Jammers engaging the pack from Gold Coast and Kansas City. And I believe for the first time tonight wearing the Jamstar Blackjack, Gets lead jam for Gold Coast All-Stars. Nice job. Both sprung from the pack and now eligible to score. Three wall in the back of the pack from Gold Coast. She Holding takes a whip. Heads up there to score some points. Taking a whip and trying to make some holes of her own, but it costs oh. her. She picks up a back block, and she's going to take a trip to the penalty box. Oh, she's celebrating. You know she enjoyed that trip out there. Yes, yeah, she did. Get the impression she doesn't jam a whole bunch, Oof. but uh, she got to do it in this one. South Central Regional Championships out here. Gold Coast winning one earlier today. Coming out against Kansas City, the top seed in the South Central Regionals. And uh, the results were expected. 
top seed, but Gold Coast is playing with heart, and they're playing like ain't nothing changed. They're out here trying mm -hmm. playing their game. 10.54 left in gameplay. You know, you got to love the smiles on their faces. They're enjoying this. They're like, we're at the, we're at the show, WFTDA, Big Five tournament, first time. We're going to enjoy this. We're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna learn some. We're gonna learn some things. They've mm -hmm. been great about trying to adapt to strategy and trying to change their gameplay, um, but due to penalty trouble and some other things, they just weren't able to make it work. Meanwhile, back on the track, we have another four points because of a no pass, no penalty. Um, Jessica Young, or I'm sorry, Young only picked up four points on that last pass. Kelly Young. You gotta love the elegance that Kelly Young skates through the pack. She just kind of slides through there, dips her shoulder, bobs and weaves back and forth. She makes it look easy. She does make it look easy. There are jammers who are able to effectively make their own holes in the pack. There are jammers who need more assistance through the pack. Kelly Young is a jammer who definitely makes her own way. Speaking of making her own way, we're gonna see what these jammers can do. Setting up for the next one, 77, Sewn Bitch Blues on the line for Gold Coast All-Stars. Well, we've got a timeout on the floor here for Gold Coast, and we'll take this opportunity to thank the following tournament partners. We've got Spinland Media. We love Spinland Media. Doing a great job for us here. Union Vacations, Protect Dent Mouth Guards, protecting those mouths of those beautiful derby faces. Skate Court, we've got Skate Court down here in Kansas City at Municipal Auditorium. I see it, it love looks our lovely. Skate it's, in, it's incredible. You know, it really creates a great surface for skating on. I know the girls love it. If you have a, a league and you don't yet have Sport Court, you need to pick it up. It's a great investment from Sport Court. Get familiar, you know what else I see out here? I see shininess. And mm. if you want your hiney shiny, check out Derby Skins. They are here in house, but if you are not gifted with the opportunity to see them live and in person you can check them out online much love to the folks at derby skins yes just earlier today i bought my girlfriend a pair of Der uh, derby skins she's gonna love you forever i know i got her the uh, uh black ones with red polka dots uh fantastic she loves them she's wearing them right now <laughs> she's skins. wearing them right now mm -hmm. is she here wearing them that's awesome yeah she is here wearing them bought them she put them on right away she's got compliments on them all day everybody loves to have a honey a shiny honey a shiny i know hiney. i do yeah i'm wearing my derby skins tomorrow that's it hands mm -hmm. down we are still in a timeout here it's you know timeouts make me happy because that means that we're checking to make sure that everything is officially official yep you know i was at RollerCon earlier this year and there was sin city skates was there and they were doing a lot of business they have wonderful folks at sin city skates setting up people putting the getting the right set them set up with the right boot the right skate you know wheels gotta love sin city skates the whole shebang yep speaking of the whole shebang don't forget folks if you're watching this right now and you are under the sound of my voice and you have not already done it you can Check us out in high quality. Check us out in high quality viewing. It's just like being here. Well, almost. Yeah, we've got a feed up here. I'm watching it right now on high quality, and it's incredible. I mean, I was I was joking earlier, but I mean, it looks it looks better than the floor. You yeah, know? it does look better than the floor for sure. And you're zoomed in. Watch it from your couch, and we have action going on. Speaking of zooming in, both jammers have now zoomed in into the back of the pack, working on their first pass, coming up into a wall of Kansas City blockers. Evolution going for a hit and whiffs on it. Mm -hmm. Go. There goes Jade Lightning through the front lead jammer. Number eight, we had, one, six. We had Archie Robot Lee doing a, a fantastic job of booty blocking the jammer for Gold Coast and holding her back and allowing Jade Lightning to have that opportunity to spring free and pick it up. And here she is, scoring points, taking hits. Ju oh, my oh, yeah. goodness. Of all people to come up into in the back of the pack, Stone Bitch Blues is coming up against Evolution and crew. Now it's just Evolution and three strong out there, including the jammer from Gold Coast, right. getting more help out there to the Kansas City Arsenal. And Imal steps up in there and takes a big hit, but meanwhile, Jade Lightning pops through for another scoring pass, four points. Four more points for Jade 
And Jade Lightning is going to shut it down before the Gold Coast Jammer can get up there and score any more points. Kansas City fans loving it here at Municipal Auditorium. Very smart pack awareness out there. These derby skaters are many things in addition to being smart. And we have a lot of fresh faces out here, and I would like to give it up for Dr. Hauschka. They're celebrating the fresh faces of the WFTDA. Stop by their booth if you're here. If you're not, you can look up Dr. Hauschka online. They freshened my face earlier today, and <laughs> it's looking good, I must say. It is looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. Just like these two jammers on the line, number nine, Kitten Not Submitting, wearing the jam star for Gold Coast. And case closed for Kansas City. She's getting booty blocked by Gold Coast right now, having a tough time, gets knocked down in the pack. Kitten up, submitting, running into a three wall of Kansas City. Blockers in the front, not giving her any room to make a space. Meanwhile, getting sprung from the pack is Kansas City's jammer, but she is ineligible. She picks up a, lead, a track cut here. Lead jammer still up for grabs. Cut track minor will prevent that lead jammer call. Kitten not submitting. Looking for it, but also not eligible. We'll go the full two-minute jam here from Kansas City. Full two minutes in this jam. 7.04 left in gameplay. Kansas City 263, Gold Coast 25. Two wall held down in the front by Kansas City. Coming up quickly, 800 degrees Celsius, spontaneous combustion. Coming up trying to poke some holes in that line. You know, you gotta love the work that the WFTDA is doing here in Kansas City. Very professionally run outfit. The NSOs, the referees, doing an incredible job on the track. Thank you to the WFTDA. We love you. All right, so speaking of the love, both jammers are getting some love from the points. Looks like Kansas City picked up five in that last pass, and Gold Coast was able to pick up four here. Mm -hmm. Case close, trying to slow it down a little bit, holding back the jammer for Gold Coast. It's a lean pack right now, only five total, three blockers from Gold Coast, two in the front from Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Kitten not submitting, skating behind, case closed right now. She's just kind of kicking back, running some clock down. She is getting some flack from a blocker from Gold Coast, and they shut it down. Her that strategy was successful, held her back, didn't the score The strategy any points. was successful. I believe that was Blackjack out there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. A, a great day of Derby this has been. Again, if you don't know, now you know 2011 WFTDA Championships, South Central Region Playoffs, that's what you're watching. You're watching Kansas City Roller Warriors All-Stars in the white jerseys and the red lettering. Gold Coast All-Stars donning the black jerseys with the red and gold accents. Well said, Lady O. On the floor, Jammer for Gold Coast battling for the front of the pack, pushed inside by Bruce Herr. Bruce Herr forcing her to re-engage behind her. She picks up a block and skates through. Oh, but she had a back block minor, not going to get that lead jammer call. But Kansas Paul City Balls does. does. Yes. She's going to wait just a little bit here. It looks like she's calling the jam, shutting it down. Kansas City playing some strategy here, running some clock down at the they're end. Running, they're eating up some clock. They were about to make a move to the front of that pack before that jam was called. Ready, locked, and loaded is, is Kansas City in every jam consistently. All right, we only got uh, four and some change left in this game in the second period. Both jammers are on the Dr. Hauschka jam line, ready to start this next one, jam number 16. Jade Lightning for Kansas City. And a, taking an inside line once again, lead jammer, and then she fires off, skating fast like lightning, Jade Lightning. And annihilating Annie, we're in the jam star for Gold Coast All-Stars, coming up behind that two wall in the front from Kansas City. Big jammer takeout in the front of the pack there. Number 11, Annie Mall. Annie Mall slash, slash, slash. It's Annie Mall. She's put a lot of big hits on people during her career in Kansas City. She has in her career and definitely out there tonight. Kansas City has been exacting hits. 
placing them very carefully and making them 100% effective out there on that track. Mm -hmm. Jade Lightning through for another pass. Five points. Kansas City scoring machine right now. Kansas City. Archie Lee standing up in the penalty box, getting ready to re-enter the pack. She's joined the pack now and immediately landing some hits in the back of the pack. Jade Lightning knocked down with a big hit. Meanwhile, Bella Fire still cooling her heels in the penalty box right, right now. That'll do it for that one right there. You know, I got daughters. They're 15 years old. They're playing junior derby. Nice. And I'm very, very proud of them. They're going to be playing here uh, on Championship Sunday. That's awesome. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really, really proud of them. And you know what kind of skates I put them in? Uh-uh. I put them in vanilla skates. I knew it. For skates. You know, I just had to. They love them. They're really cool. They were the, the, the black and red, mm -hmm. you know, like the Kansas City Roller Warriors. They thought they were the coolest looking skate. I was very happy with the performance reviews I, I heard. Uh, different Roller Warriors and people I know love the boots and said, you got to get them vanilla skates. That's what we did. And speaking of skates that you love, Rydell Skates. They are a proud partner and the official skate of the WF. TDA. If you didn't know what the WFTDA is, that is the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. You're tuning in right now to the 2011 South Central Region Playoffs, folks. I got goosebumps just hearing you say that. It's <laughs> such, I'm so proud. It's such an honor to be here in Kansas City Municipal Auditorium where I announce derby on uh, frequently for Kansas City. And to have this tournament here, first time in seven years, it's here in Kansas City, South Central Regional Playoffs. And you're tuning in at WFTDA.com, and you should be watching the high-quality feed if you're not. There's a lot of great action to come this weekend. That's right. It's just like we're talking to a couple of thousand friends. Not thousands, more than that, because Derby has now stretched across the world. There's Derby everywhere. Oh, it's so big. So big. I think we have 400 leagues, I think, in uh, the United States. Over 400. It's and, over uh, 400. I think uh, 110 WFTDA leagues. And it's growing exponentially. It's, it's growing just exponentially. Um, we saw London, for example, show up to oh, their fir crazy. first time at Eastern Regionals this year. We have um, teams in Australia and all mm -hmm. over the world. But getting back to these two teams right here, Kansas City and Gold Coast. Their jammer from Gold Coast has engaged the pack. It looks like 800 degrees Celsius spontaneous combustion is the one working on a pass right now. It's aptly named spontaneous combustion. She puts on some big hits in the pack. I've really enjoyed watching her today in the bout against Green Country. Both, both teams played very well. That's she her. was one of the heroes of that bout. There she is, lead jammer out there, spontaneous combustion. Gold Coast fans, you should be proud of your team. They have been out here battling today. Oh, my goodness. Running in hard into the back of the pack. Oh, tough of nuggies to hit in the back. The side of the track. She's crawling <laughs> off, okay? I don't think that was a uh, – she was taking the fall there. That was legitimately knocked the wind out of her. Spontaneous just busted through that wall. If you have a question about how to how to change or the strategy to come up against the game where it's slower, if it stopped, you just keep skating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're seeing a, quite a variety of styles going on in roller derby right now. You watch the, you know, the East and West regional championships, and you know, phenomenal the difference in teams, the stop and go. You know, you got teams that skate really fast like Oli. You've got teams that. We're doing a lot of slow skating. A lot like, of slow uh, Rat skating, City. yeah. Rat City was uh, trying to use a different strategy there, and it, was, it worked pretty well for him, I thought. Absolutely. Something yeah. else that you've seen a lot in tournament play this year is um, teams lining up right on top of the jammer line, trying to spring their jammer quickly. Sometimes it works for teams. Sometimes it does not. But getting into the action here, only mere seconds left on this period clock. Both jammers are sprung, hit in the back of the pack like they're supposed to. Trying to make quick work of it. Gold Coast is in the front first, but not through the pack quite yet. Running into a vicious booty block from number 25. Iggy Cox, lead jammer for Gold Coast. Looks like that we're going to end it with her as the lead jammer there. 
as the period clock runs down. We still have a minute 15 left on the jam clock. She calls it. She does call it. And gold, <laughs> look, at, look at Gold Coast Gold down Coast there. Gold Coast is victorious, and well, they should be. Right now, mm. the unofficial final is 274 Kansas City, 36 Gold Coast All Stars. And, and Gold Coast is down there celebrating. You know, you got to love that. They're out here battling it out with Kansas City and proud of their performance there. You should be too, Fort Lauderdale. That's First time at this tournament against against the number one seed. And I tell you what, who I'm really proud of is my Kansas City Roller Warriors. Just an incredible team. They mesh well together. Only one loss this whole season. Tough battle with Ole. And right now they are victorious in the first round of this WFTDA South Central Region Tournament.